the first part is the first part is oi i changed this color for the other class i had made it very very thick let's okay. change this also yeah now it is given to us that uh, first one is y is equals to an x theek okay? hai now if i if i mark the points 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 aise chalta gaya aur idhar se negative 1 negative 2 every dot negative 3 this dot becomes a bit too messy it is very coming very close so i'll take two dots as one part okay so one and one dot empty two then a gap then a three then a gap then a four then a gap then a five then a gap then a six then a gap then a seven okay and this is also let's go negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 negative 4 negative 5 and x also we have a 1 2 one gap 3 one gap 4 one gap 5 one gap 6 one gap 7 and then negative 1 negative 2 theek hai ab beta y is equals to x means when x is 1 y is 1 when x is 2 y is 2 x is 3 y is 3 so if we have a line okay if we have a line the line will go straight through the origin okay the line will be passing straight through the origin and through all the three points like this theek okay. hai so it has to pass to the origin 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 it is not in the origin here yeah. so it goes like this and let's change the color graphical lines will have it in the red color mm -hmm. now so this is the first one second part 2x plus 5y is equals to 10 so 2x plus 5y is equals to 10 so if i take x and y if i take x as a zero y will be two if y is a zero x will be five five so my points would be when x is zero y is a two and when x is a five y is a zero yeah so we draw the line from here all the way from here okay we put in a line which goes through these two points like this this is our second line mm -hmm. so second line also becomes red in color now let's look at the third line the third line is 2x plus y is equals to 6 theek hai so again an x and a y when x is a 0 y will be and when y is a 0 x will be 3 3 so x is a 0 y is a 3 and when x uh, x is a 3 y is a z then ha huh. y is 6 6 6 6 x is a 0 so y is 0 x is 3 so these are the points so now let's draw the line for this one also so we come here we get a line out here and we join them from all the way to here theek okay. hai and we need to do one more thing otherwise we'll forget which line is which so let's write it down also this first line is x is equals to y this line out here is x is equals to y second line out here was a 2x plus 5y is equals to 10 And the third line is a two x. Take now. Now shade the diagram so that the region defined by y is greater than equals to x is left unshaded. Means basically we have to shade the part wherein y is less than equals to x. Got the point? question yeah, yeah. says okay that means we have to shade so for writing the we have to shade the part wherein x is greater than equals to y theek hai 
no 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 i'll tell you let's check let's take 3 comma 0 comma 3 as the point so x is a 0 y is a 3 is this true or false False. so this is not the this is not where the shading should be there the shading yeah. should be there on the opposite side this is my shading got it yeah this is the part that we needed to shade take okay. now let's look at what is the second part asking us to shade 2x plus 5y 2x plus 5y is greater than equals to 10. Now, for most of the cases, take the origin it will give you. And they have said what? This should be left unshaded. So if it is true, it is unshaded. Take it. So if I take an x as a 0, y as a 0, so this is a 10. So 0, comma 0 is greater. False. That means my shading should be towards 0, comma 0. Take care. So shading for the second line, I'm using the green color shading for the second line that is 2x plus 5y. So this, oh, it should not, false means it should be shaded, that side only. It should be hard. Take care. It should be shaded towards 0, comma 0. Mm -hmm. Because on the true side, we were not supposed to shade. Yeah, yeah. Take care. Now, now for the third part of the line, third part is says 2x plus y is less than 6 is to be left unshaded. Again, take the origin. So 0 is less than 6 is a true value. Take it. So it is. So is it necessary to take the uh, origin? No, you take any point. Origin is the easiest point. Yeah, so no, for example, if I take 6, 0. Take 6, 0. So it will become what? 12 plus 0 is less than 6. That is false. Yeah, so that's not, yeah. That means I'll have to shade towards the false part. And like, the false part is shade towards 6, 0. Yeah. So for the third line, Let's change the color again from green. Let's go to this one. So, Yaniki, it is not going to shade towards what? It is going to shade towards the false part. Where is your 6, 0? Acha, 6, 0 to beta already hai. It is a point on the line. Take some another point. That is a point on the line. Oh, okay, 2, 3. Uh, 2 comma, nahin, 6 comma 0, no, no, it was not a point on the line. 6 comma 0 is this point, beta. So this part is what? No, sorry, I, I mean 0 comma 6. 0 comma 6 is already a point. Okay. Take it. So we are supposed to shade on the false side. So see, this is the false side. Right? Yeah. Okay. So we get this false side. Now the yeah. question says, are these points in the region defined by these inequalities? So 1 comma 1, our 1 comma 1 is here. So is it defined by the inequality? No, because like it should be in the unshaded part if it was defined by the inequality. It is on the line. If it is no, on... It should, it should be at the unshaded part. See, unshaded part. inequality is what? The inequality is given to us is x is greater than equals to y is the first inequality given to us. Now, forget the shaded and the unshaded part. You have to think in this term. That the answer has to come true for it to be a part of the inequality. Okay. So it is 1, 1. Okay. So is 1, 1 a part of this graph? Yeah, it is. 
is 1 comma 1 a part of this inequality? Uh, no, it's not. It's not. Is 1 comma 1, is 1 comma 1 a part of this inequality? It is, it is. So it is a true for the first one. It is a true for the third one. But it is not true for the second one. Yeah. Okay. Now 2 comma 2. Do the same thing for 2 comma 2. Is, is 2 comma 2 a part of this? Yeah, it is. It is a yes. Is 2 comma 2, is 2 comma 2 a part of this one? It is. It is. And is 2 comma 2 a part of the third one? No. No, because, because it is what? Equal to is not given. Hmm. Okay? Now it is yeah. 1 comma 3. Okay? 1 comma 3 is 1 uh, is one greater 3 greater than equals to 1? No. Y, oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. It is a y yeah. greater than equals to x. No, it is a yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now in the second one, 1 comma 3. 2 ones are 2 plus 5 into 3. Is it a part of this inequality? Uh, yeah, it is. And last one. Is two times one plus three a part of a part of this inequality? It is, yeah. Agya, now you yeah. can check your answer and verify if we have done it correctly or not. 